all this is shirina gloria i have uh, come to my sister in law's house in gujarat and my niece is going to make a chicken curry and this is what she is going to use about 5 big size onions and i'll show you next uh, what are the things she is going to use i also thought to show you how it is in the village uh, so here my daughter is washing some vessels in my sister in law's house i'm just showing you the way how things are here in the village uh this how they keep their things and they have all the good things like the nice fridges and all this this is my little sara okay this is the entrance to a bed and this is one bedroom this how they store their stuff this is one this is the toilet come bathing one of the toilets come bathing this is uh, their hall this is how they keep their hall they have huge places they have everything like the ac and all but they it's very nice it's different from the city side but there's nothing less uh they have everything in the village so so on and so forth uh i'll get into the recipe and show you uh my niece said she's going to make chicken kurma their style so let's see so this is how it looks from the outside this is one of the houses this is a chiku tree infested with chikus Uh, there is not much i can capture on the camera but it's infested with this beautiful fruit this is a palm tree this is part of the field area so these onions are chopped up now and we'll and uh, she will fry it uh, till brown golden brown then she'll be using these three tomatoes and then i'll show you now we've used about 5 tablespoons of oil and uh, she's put in the onions and they will fry till brown meanwhile uh, the tomatoes that we showed you the three large size we've cut it up into pieces so along with that this is the garlic this is the ginger and this is chicken and now uh, the onions are brown now we'll put in the tomatoes so along with that this is the garlic this is the ginger and this is chicken and now uh, the onions are brown now we'll put in the tomatoes so into this uh, she's put in uh, tomatoes into the brown onions tomatoes and full ginger and full garlic and after it fries uh, for a little while the tomato softens uh, she will take it out and cool it and uh, grind it in the mixer In the meanwhile, she is uh, mixing almost about two kgs flour to make chapatis, uh, fresh uh, ground uh, wheat flour. So this is the onion, fried onion and tomato and ginger and garlic. Uh, uh, cooled it and put it in the mixer and ground it. Here into the oil which we took out the fried onion and tomato with a little bit of uh, food color which is optional. Some Few cardamoms. Uh, she doesn't use a lot of garam masala. I put the chicken in and fry it in plain oil and cardamom. Here she is going to use uh, a teaspoon of uh, uh, dania, jeera, and uh, chili powder. Uh, she is going to use a teaspoon of each salt. And uh, now she is put in the ground. Uh, onion tomato ginger garlic and then you got to stir it very well and further i am standing right here and see how she is doing it she is putting one bowl of curd and uh, you can mix it very well yeah. now you can mix it well and uh, that is all towards the end if you want to cut some uh, green coriander and put a put in it you can But the, the masalas, this is all.
Now you can put a glass of water or a glass of milk and let it cook for a while. Uh, two, three bubbles and you can take it out. This is the amount of chapatis that are made. This is the finished product. Meanwhile, the tomatoes that we showed you, the three large size, we've cut it up into pieces.